What's going on everybody, JBH here and welcome back to another video and today guys we are back at Hershey Park for another construction update an update for Dark Nights as we uh, progress here along as we get closer and closer to the start of Dark Nights which is on September 15th so let's go So we are actually gonna first approach here on the bridge by the Aqua Theater and look down uh, below where Creature Chaos is at because actually, wow, they actually did some more work uh, to this morning. Um, as you can see, right down below, they have it now blocked off where you can't even uh, go walk through here anymore as they uh, get ready for Dark Nights. Uh, but it looks like right here is actually something brand new uh, so it looks like that's going to be something you'll probably end up a walk through and go along um, right there. So because it looks like it's going to take you this way. I heard the path of the of the house is going to be opposite this year. So you're going to be exiting uh, basically where you uh, uh, enter now. So it's going to be the house is going to be flipped with some more elements in it. So it looks like we have. So it looks like some of the cages down there. Um, we're definitely more sporadic down there like over there but yeah you can't go this way anymore uh, right now uh, let's look at the other side alrighty and right here um, on the other side of the bridge right here next to the aqua theater looks like they have some cages now up uh, I heard there's gonna be more creatures this year in this house um, looks like they have some hidden walls so where the actors can hide when you go through them so they'll surprise you but I heard uh, right here is where the new entrance for the house is going to be um, and then you'll exit like you're uh, through the amphitheater uh, but let's check the other side again uh, but yeah all right and it looks like they definitely this is definitely coming along more uh, so it looks like they have the tent up now where you went through I remember going through last year um, I was here earlier this morning and I looked at all this and this tent was even up so they obviously did a lot of work during the day today but yeah definitely all coming along at Creature Chaos or Creatures Uncaged that I should say now all right here's a better view of this new uh looks like you're gonna go through this through this new tunnel here sorry the drop towers are really loud so I'll talk as loud as I can but um right here is something brand new where you're gonna walk through uh, I'm assuming they're gonna have like probably creatures or something banging in on the side like they're trying to get in to you probably there or something uh, which we'll see that's gonna be really cool this whole element right here all right and of course this path is now blocked off you can't go down here anymore uh, this is the hill that would take you right down into the hollow uh, for Halloween they don't use this path you can't use it anymore uh, so this will be blocked off then Alrighty guys, so we're actually gonna go down uh, down to the haunted coal mine now. We'll see any progress is going on with that, but the problem won't be too much because it's kinda all covered so we can't really can't really see what's going on too much probably there anyway, but we'll see if we can see anything. I mean here we're making our way down the hill here next to the drop towers where you go to the coal mine. You can see a little bit of like the doors and everything like that, but can't really see too much inside now I'm right here in this area I don't know if this is where the queue is gonna go for for uh, for creatures in cage because right there is basically where creatures in cage would start that's where really you exit last year uh, but that's where they have it blocked off if you can't go so I'm not too sure if they would use it through right with this path right here along here 
for the for the entrance or exit. Um, but I don't know. If, I forget if the Aqua Theater still has shows during the fall, so that might, that might interfere with the shows um, if they have a queue outside here. All right, so here we are where uh, the coal mine house is. Uh, so it looks like they uncovered all the all the the black uh, uh, curtain there. So now you can look inside and see it more. But like I said, this says Halloween Q line post. Um, so it looks like you can see that they're definitely working at the, inside the house. Because right there to that door is where you would go into the queue for the house. So definitely coming along. Definitely really, really much here as well. Alrighty, and one thing I did notice, all these uh, uh, props that were used for the Valley of Veer Scare Zone have now made its way back into here in Pioneer Front here by by the, the coal mine house. Here's another one. So I don't know, normally, you know, Valley of Fear is not returning, um, but I wonder if they're just gonna still use this for like, make like make it like just more of a spooky effect. Cause basically there was really the scare zone last year, really, nobody really like scared you really here really. I mean, there was that bush guy, but he really wasn't around. So he really didn't scare you too much. So, so I know this was the one weaker scare zone. So I wonder if they're just gonna have it still just um, just just not as official scare zone but just as like a ambiance type of a, a spooky type thing with fog and everything right here by the haunted coal mine house because there's another one uh, right there as well all right guys so now we're gonna make our way down to the midway to check out all the scare zones and houses down that way all right, so here we're at back at uh, Auntie Morgan's Avatar, which is the newest house. And uh, just check out everything out. So it looks like looks like they had like a door right there. So it looks like everything's still all more brick wall they probably added inside there. But yeah, you can definitely see there's more more stuff right there. Probably right where you go into the house, right there. Alright, and since the last update I did, uh, they didn't have the queue all set up, so it looks like they have the queue all set up, so it looks like it will go through the back side right there, because they have a fence all set up, so it will go behind Music Express, and it will probably go right over there, right into uh, Antimortems, like the side, the side of the building, I would say probably, probably right around here somewhere is where you'll get on for the house. Yeah. I so this thing probably like right there is probably where you'll go into the house right there and that's when you'll start it looks like it's going to be a fairly big house because the whip building is a fairly uh big building so it will definitely be really big you know probably definitely be a, a good sized ha house all right guys so now we're i'm kind of at the exit by in wildcats revenge right now uh, looking at the descent house so it looks like nothing too much up and outside they still have the facade up uh, where it would be the entrance which is you know about right here and of course this part right here this part where you exit and all like the stuff is uh, like uh, misting at you at the end so that's where you would exit the descent and then come out because both houses the descent and of course twisted carnival are both in of course the, the white tent building right here uh, so fortunately we won't see any progress inside the actual tent but just see a little bit outside but so but mostly this one is definitely coming along but mostly creature chaos uh is the one that's definitely coming along definitely quickly so yeah <laughs> 